What's going on everyone? Austin John plays here and today we're going to be talking about the possibility that we just got a leak that we are going to be getting Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Remix coming this year. Everything that I said is quite a stretch. It's literally just like like if all of the stars possibly lined up perfectly based off of this one small piece of information then yes this is a possibility by no means whatsoever does this mean that diamond pro remix confirmed okay just get just get it out there you can meme it up all you want but just know in your heart it's not confirmed yet okay tisn't Firstly, Diamond and Pearl remakes are something that the Pokemon community has been asking for for quite some time. If we were to take a look at all of the Pokemon games that have come out, okay. the if we look at every single game that's come out, you have first generation Red and Blue that's been re-released in Fire Red and Leaf Green. You have second generation Gold Silver that's been re-released in Heart Gold Soul Silver. You have Ruby Sapphire Emerald that's been re-released in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. That leaves Diamond and Pearl Platinum has not been re-released. Chronologically, if they're recycling all of the games, then yes, we are due for Diamond and Pearl Remix going to be coming out. Now, what is this small nugget of information that I'm talking about that makes people think, oh, Diamond and Pearl Remix are gonna be confirmed? Well, here we go. Yesterday at 4.15 p.m., Centro Pokemon Leaks tweet out, breaking news, diamondpearl.pokemon.com domain has been enabled. First thing to note that this is a subdomain. The domain being Pokemon.com, the subdomain being Diamond Pearl. And a subdomain is completely free to set up. If you own Pokemon.com, you could set up DiamondPearl.Pokemon.com, you could set up uh, ChanceyEgg.Pokemon.com. I own AustinJohnPlays.com, which is just basically a way to go to AustinJohnPlays.com slash merch. But I can also make Merch.AustinJohnPlays.com, and that subdomain is free for me to set up, and it can go to whatever website that I choose, like my Teespring. As soon as it was enabled, it didn't go anywhere, okay? It was a 403 error. That means that there's content there, but forbidden. Yeah, or just the subdomain exists, but it's not linked up to anywhere. And then they also tried blackwhite.pokemon.com, rubysapphire.pokemon.com, and helloworld.pokemon.com. Hello World is a, uh, a, a reference to, to coding. This subdomain exists but there's no website there. And typically these subdomains, whenever there's an event going on, they do make those subdomains. According to Poke X Sparrow, the Pokemon Diamond Pearl subdomain was activated on January 12th, 2021, and it was not old. So that is the day that it was registered. If we look here, we can also see that legends.pokemon.com was also created uh, on the 13th. I don't know if this means the 13th or the 14th, but legends, L-E-G-E-N-D-S dot Pokemon.com. Okay, that doesn't go anywhere. That's what I thought. Press.pokemon.com, that's whenever they update the press website, which actually updating the press website does make sense because we did just get the Pokemon Snap news update. So that could have been updated, but just not made public yet. Makes sense. And then the domain, the subdomain was disabled. And they said that someone messed up by putting it up early. That's that's not confirmed there, okay? Because it could have been someone putting it up by accident, or it could have been, you know, they decided to put this up, and then it immediately, they got word back that, you know, a website crawler saw it, so they decided to take it down to avoid speculation. Pokemon Company is weird like that, and they try to avoid, you know, stuff. Uh, it was also at this point that I wanted to clarify that we're talking about subdomains here, because... <laughs> Anyone can make a subdomain, but to make a domain, like you gotta pay for that. It takes a while. You have to get it registered, name addresses. It's a whole whole back end mess. So last night, DiamondPearl.Pokemon.com existed, and then a few hours later, it did not. Why it existed? Is it going to be a URL for the upcoming Diamond and Pearl Pokemon game that may or may not be announced this year? Let's look at first quarter Pokemon Directs. In 2013, January 8th, we had the X and Y Direct. February 26th, 2016 was the Pokemon 20th Anniversary and the Sun and Moon Direct. 
We may have to wait until the anniversary on the 26th for Pokemon 25. 2019 was the Pokemon Sword and Shield Direct on February 27th, close to Pokemon Day. And January 9th of last year was the Pokemon Direct that introduced the DLC for Pokemon Sword and Shield and Mystery Dungeon DX. It could happen in January or more, much more likely they're going to wait for the Pokemon 25th anniversary, which is at the very end of February. So tis what it tis what it is. We may get something before then. Very good chance that we do not. Very good chance. I mean, I'm more curious to see if when the Diamond and Pearl remakes do come out, is it just going to be on the Sword and Shield engine? And if it's on the Sword and Shield engine, are they going to incorporate some sort of wild area or raids or anything like that? I don't know. I uh, I didn't play a lot of Diamond and Pearl. In fact, I don't think I played any Diamond and Pearl, to be honest. Apologies all around. If they do have a way to incorporate it, I'm not really too sure. The other alternative is they decide to make these Diamond and Pearl remakes in the style of Let's Go, which would be weird that they skip Gen 2 and 3 and go straight to 4. But hey, you never know. You never know. I want to know what you think for Diamond and Pearl remakes being almost kind of sort of hinted at nowhere near confirmed. Leave a comment down below or tweet me at Austin John Plays. And be sure to stay subscribed here for super important Pokemon Zelda news and also a Minecraft Let's Play right now. Until next time, Austin John out.